All right, so today we're gonna to put a hitch on the front of this Toyota Tundra. And my name is Rhonda, and I'm with U-Haul 746-044 in Katy, Texas. Let's get started. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. There's two existing bolts that it says to remove on both sides. So we're gonna start off with removing this one first. over to the vehicle, get it into place, line everything up, I'm gonna raise it up into place, ensuring that our holes line up. We got these holes here that we gotta line up and we're gonna have one back there that we're gonna line up. These are gonna disregard, we're gonna throw these away, the existing ones. Okay, so let's go ahead and Raise our hitch up into place. Just check it out on both sides. All right. Okay, so now that we know that it'll get up in there, we're gonna go ahead. There's some plastic covers on both the driver's side and the passenger side that need to be removed. We're gonna remove those, put the hitch up into place, and start putting in our bolts. Okay, so you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver and right up underneath. Right above where this hole is, there's a little plastic cover. And this little plastic cover is going to come off, it'll line up, and we'll be able to feed our bolt right through that hole. So just take a screwdriver. And it pops right out. Now we're going to do the other side. So, All right. Now that we got the plastic out of there, we can go ahead and raise this up into place and put our bolts in. Now that we've secured and we know that where all our holes are, we're going to go ahead and um, mount the front two bolts on the driver's side and then we're going to mount the front two bolts on the passenger side. And it just says loosely mount so that you can still move it out of the way in order to be able to do your feed. Go ahead. We got to hold this in place at the same time. So you want to make sure that you have your uh, washer with your teeth facing up. Go ahead and get them ready. And it says to just lightly mount. So we're going to just do a few turns on both sides. Because we do have to lower it enough to be able to get that hole cleared enough so that we can feed that bolt. Right. Hold this up in place at the same time. Right. You, you lean the hitch back. You gotta feed your line through the hole, moving the plastic out of the way. Uh, go ahead and feed the line. You have the push the line through. We're gonna put our hand up in here and we're gonna catch it on the other side and bring it down in gonna put our bolt on. Okay. I'm gonna screw it on like if as if it was this going right up into a nut. See it here? 
Make sure it's all the way to the end because you're going to have to pull on it and you don't want it to come unhooked. Alright, so now we can slide this up into the hole that they have gave us to access. It just says to move the rubber uh, mount out of the way. And we have our bolt through the hole. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side just in case we need to, we don't want to tighten anything until we have both sides with the bolts through. Okay, there's a little tab here that's holding this plastic in place. By removing it, you have a little more play. So let's just go ahead and remove that out of the way and we'll put that back in in just a minute. It just gives this piece a little bit more play to get your hand in there. on there nice and snug because you are going to be pulling on it and you don't want it to come off premature. Putting your washer and nut on there, you want to make sure that you have the again that this is facing the vehicle so that it'll when it tightens up, it'll actually give it a better torque. Okay, just gonna slide it on there. And again, you just want to hand tight until you get all your pieces in place. Okay, and all these are just hand tight. I'm going to go over and put our nut and our washer on the other side. Again, making sure that your washer is facing towards the vehicle so that the teeth can catch. All right, just hand tight. Now we're going to go ahead and raise it up into place and secure these two, and then we'll come back and tighten that. And just tighten it up real easy. So now that we're ready and we have everything done, we're going to go ahead and do our torque. Uh, the front two are set for 68 pounds and the back one is set for 75. So we're going to do the two front ones on both sides first. So we're at 68 pounds, so set it up on there and there it clicked. Let's do this back one again. Want to make sure that your socket is well onto the boat. 
and it clicked. All right, so we're gonna do the other side real quick. And it clicked. And it clicked. So now we're gonna reset for the other two. Okay, so now we have our uh, torque set at 75 for the two side ones. So we're gonna reach up in there and torque them up. Making sure that your uh, socket is over the bolt securely. Just, and we're done. You know, make sure that your socket is secured onto your bolt. And it clicked. And we're all done. That includes, concludes the front hitch install on a Toyota Tundra. Thanks. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.